What's streak are we on? We on a 10 game win streak right now, y'all. Yo, we have the fireball. The fireball on the 1v1 court. 25 games. Yo, we are halfway there to the 100 game. 70 game win streak. Fireball two. I'm shooting over those. I don't care. Green. And it's a yellow. You can't guard me. This KD dude cannot guard me. Look at it. Sidestep. You already know what color that is. I'm going to shoot some crazy stuff. I'm going to shoot some crazy stuff. Step back from half court. <laughs> We need to stop, yo. He's clamped. He's literally boxed. Yo, yo. He just made that. Game point. This is our last chance. We just need one more stop. One more stop. He has takeover. No more points. He's run running. I know he's run running. Game point. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, a.k.a. Double H, back at it with yet another banger. And as you guys can see, I went on a huge win streak in NBA 2K23. So if you guys want more win streak videos like this, or you want me to attempt another high win streak, make sure to drop a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. But look, y'all, as you can see, this streak started live on stream. This is my first time on the spot. And listen to this. To this. Yo, yo. No! I'm an idiot! No! I just realized my settings are fucked up, bro! No! No! So as you can see, I was like reacting to first getting on the spot because when I first got on the spot to this win streak, I had realized my Bruh. settings were messed up. Look it, I got meter on. That means my timing is messed up, so I have late timing on. Uh, my meter's on. My defensive settings are reset. All my settings are reset. Now, I decided, you know what? I'm not going to hop on the spot. I'm just going to stay on the spot because it's hard to get the, the 1v1 court. You know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to stream. And I didn't expect to go on a huge win streak, but that's what happened. Now, for whatever reason in this stage, it does not show your win streak after the game. It only shows the fire getting, you know, bigger and bigger. So I had to manually count the streak. And you also can't see court status in this stage. I don't know why, but we're on a three-game win streak, as you can see. There's going to be a lot of people that pull up a lot of intense games in this video. So y'all are in for a good one. But yeah, we started on stream um i didn't have that many boots jump shot boots on as well so shooting is definitely gonna be tough on this win streak. you see i'm going crazy though now this recording was on september 22nd so this was a minute ago like right now as i'm recording this voiceover it's october 6th so this was a couple weeks ago this is before i you know i you know I'm, i feel like i'm a lot better at the game now but yeah i was still good back then but yeah this is the highest win streak to date still on the 1v1 court in NBA 2K23. So we, we in for a good one. That's for sure. Um, I'm just going to show the game winners of every single game. And I'm going to show some intense games as well. But yeah, I was in my bag. Like I said, I'm on my 6'9 build in this gameplay. We're playing it. We're going to, as you can see in the gameplays, we're going to be playing a lot of other 6'9s as well. But I'm on my 6'9 build. If you guys want the build, drill moves, jump shot, all that will be linked in the description. And yeah, I was really just doing everything out here with my 6'9. I had lock takeover. I didn't even have accelerator yet either. I was using the extender perk, lock take primary, uh, limitless take secondary. But yeah, oh, and look at this, this, look at this, this worker right here, bro. This construction worker. He, he's already played me a couple times. You can see in this video, and you're gonna see him a lot, bro, because there's a lot of come arounds on this one v one court. But look at the fire is getting bigger. We're already at a ten game win streak. You're gonna see that fire grow bigger and bigger and bigger throughout the video. And yeah, we're mainly counting everything, and I'm not gonna really cut anything. That's why we're fast forwarding, so you guys know that this really was a win streak of its own. You know what I'm saying? So, and by the way, also at 10 games, you guys didn't notice we got our fireball ball. So now we have a fire. As you guys didn't, if you guys didn't already know, as the construction workers playing me again. What is that? Already the third time in this video. Um, but once you get to a 10 game win streak, you get a fireball. So now the ball is gonna be on fire for the rest of the video. Uh, we're playing another 6-9 right here. This dude actually wasn't too bad. He plays me a couple times as well. There's going to be some post scores that pull up. But God, I mean, look at me. We going crazy, but I miss. And if you rewind that, that was a full bar. That, that would have been green if I wasn't using meter. And there's a lot of shots that I miss on this streak and a lot of shooting struggles that I go through on this streak. 
because of my reset of my settings i'm not used to these settings uh, i'm used to early timing not late timing i also don't use meters so i'll get whites that would usually be green with a 5 10 percent green boost you get with no meter on anyways 14 game win streak as you guys are going to see in a second here once you get to 15 look at that shot though oh my gosh team takeover on the ones is crazy but the fire's gonna get a little bigger look at me james harden step back from half court though Oh my God, I'm in my bag. Look at it. The fire is growing. 15 game win streak. But little did I know we had just started. We're playing a 7 3 post score right here. And y'all already know what I had to do to the post score, man. I ain't gonna lie. I really don't be losing the post scores in this game. I've been streaking on the ones a lot ever since this. This was my first time actually playing the ones. This was my first time playing the ones. And I won on a huge win streak. I've been playing a lot of ones since then. I don't be losing to a lot of, you know, people on a lot of post scores in the ones. But look at this. This is our first intense game. We're playing a GOAT tier. Demigod build. First game of the, uh, first play of the game, he blocks me. Right? So this dude's a GOAT tier. He wins a lot of his games. He leaves me open. I gotta shoot that. Simple. So we out 3-0. to zero. I'm taking him to the basket. He's there, though. You know what I'm saying? So if he's guarding the rim run, I gotta take my shot. And that's what a lot of people underestimate is my shooting. Even with these reset settings, I can still shoot that thing. So you can't be leaving me open, especially when I'm on my game. But right here, he's playing great defense. I'm trying to pump it, get something to work. I got nothing. You know, shout out to him for the defense. He would, he locked me up this play. Look at seven seconds. And I don't know what my player did there. I mean, fall away shot on the other side of the backboard is crazy. But look at, we play really good defense right here. I'm playing good defense, but I jumped. And what I, you know, this is my first time playing one. So I wasn't mindful of a lot of things but you gotta wall up in the paint if you want to get stops you can't be jumping i didn't really know that at this point this is my first time playing the 1v1 core i don't really know the glitchy stuff about the ones at this point now i do but i didn't know back then look at now i'm finally walling up right here but i'm still jumping see if i don't jump i'm gonna get a higher contest he's gonna miss that so this dude's got a lot of fluky buckets huh? and then he shoots that stuff i knew he was trying to shoot so I close out there. He doesn't get the rebound. Six to six. We get the ball back. I'm like, okay. We got to get some buckets. Get the easy dunk right there. Eight to six. I, you know, I got to get up some buckets. Maybe get at least lock take before I give the ball back, right? I'm low on stamina. Back to the basket. Easy dunk. I don't know why I went up with the left hand there, but it is what it is. We going out to the three again. Look at that crazy off-balance shot. And it's a yellow contest? Yo, I'm in my bag right here. I'm really in my bag. He has to go out on the three. So I get an easy blow by right there because he has to guard my three after hitting all these threes, right? Another three. Oh, 10%. Okay, but we got locked take. This is why I had locked take because I was like, I'm, I know I'm going to be playing some defense. So I may as well have the locked takeover. Now, a couple weeks later now, as of today, I don't really lock, like locked take anymore. I don't really think it, it improves my defense too much. But right here, I was really taking advantage of it. 47% contest. We'll take that 15 to 6. We already get the ball back. Easy reverse dunk. Yeah, the reverse zones do be going crazy. Spin back 17 to 6. Oh my gosh. I'm low on stamina. He's he's low-key clamping right here. He's playing good defense, but we shoot it. See, that's a late. If I don't have meter, I feel like I'm timing that a little better, but we get the pick. Easy steal, easy bucket. Y'all know how steals are in this game. I have an 87 steal, silver glove. That's an easy dunk to finish off the game. And that's our first goats here. We beat of the streak. 18 game win streak. And they're going to see, like I said earlier, there's a whole lot of 6-9s on this 1v1 court. There's a lot of 7-3 post scores on this 1v1 court. It's a whole lot of toxicity going on on this court, okay? 6-11 right here. This dude gave up by the end of the game. I mean, 23-0. If I didn't touch the ball for 20 straight points, I might give up too. 20 game win streak. We are a fifth of the way there to that 100 game win streak, man. Ooh, that's going to be crazy. I even started fading, as you can see. I was really testing stuff out. I can't, I can't say this enough, but this is my first time playing stage 1v1. Now, we get into another game right here, and we're playing another Demigod build. First game, day, or first play, right? I, I had a wide dunk. I got pump fake. I don't know what I was doing. He gets an easy dunk, and this dude's good. He's a gold tier. He probably hasn't played enough to get the goat tier because, he, you know, he knew what he was doing. Look at another rim run dunk. I jump. Bad defense. You know, I, I, I was it? Look at, I jump again. Easy lamp. You know, six points off of some, you know, just not very good conservative defense at the end. Look at, another time I jump. I could just tell in this gameplay, like, I have no one's experience at this point because I'm jumping at everything. Look at, it was the basket. Easy dunk. At this point, is five lamps or dunks off of getting clamped for like 15 seconds, then just going to the basket. Look at, again, 
12 points. And I'm like, yo, this dude is rim running like crazy. 14 points. This dude is a rim running specialist. And I know he wants to rim run. I can't just leave him wide open for three, but I'm playing off of him. Look at, I'm leaving him open. He has no energy right here. 14-0. I'm down 14-0. I finally get a stop. We wall up. And that's when we get our stop. That's when we start jumping and stop being dumb in the paint. But yeah, I'm down 14-0. We need to get a comeback going. Meter gang. Oh, that's green. Okay. Okay, we locked in. He's leaving me open. He thinks I'm not a shooter? I know you can't shoot. But look here. It's different on this side of the court. Another three. That's three in a row. Now we take him to the basket because now he's finally realizing he's got to respect my shot. But he's still not respected enough. But we miss. Now that would have been green if I had no meter on. A 5-10% green boost. That was a full bar. I timed it perfect. But the meter gave me a white. And that's the disadvantage of this meter. If I didn't have meter on this streak, maybe you bought a couple extra boosts. I think this streak would have lasted a lot longer. But anyways, we do get a stop. We do start cooking up again. And boom, 16-14. We finally have our first lead of the game. Spin back. Green. Oh my gosh, I'm in my bag this game. I had to turn up. I was down 14-0. Easy dunk to end it off. And boom. That was crazy. We were down 14 to 0 in that game. And what you're going to realize is you can lose to anybody on this one's court if you give up a couple rim run buckets and you have a bad shooting game. And it's, you know, y'all you know how 2K23 is, is we're on a 23 game win streak. You can have a really good shooting game five games in a row. And all of a sudden, now you can't shoot. And especially with my settings being on late and I have a meter on, it's just. I'm going to struggle a lot with shooting this streak more than normal because I don't want my settings on. The meter is going to give me more whites. And I mean, y'all know how it is. Anyways, we're playing another GOAT tier right here. 611 ISO player. Hey, man, you, you know what we do? We got a lot of kill for those games. We beat him, and that's a 25-game win streak, and we are a fourth of the way there to the 100-game win streak. Now, my boy Javi's pulling up right here. He's one of the mods. He's actually pretty good, but... You know, I'll say shout out to Javi. We, we making him look trash right here. 22 26 game win streak. We playing another 6 9 demi guy. We got this dude on cold and we dunk it on him. Oh my gosh. The contact dunk for game 27 game win streak. We going crazy right now. We really going crazy. Now we, like I said, bro, I've said it a thousand times this video, but you're going to see a lot of 6 9 ISO builds on this court. You're going to see some 7 3 post scores too. We're about to get to that 30 streak. As you can see, I was at my dashboard, my Xbox dashboard right there. There's someone in my chat while I was live streaming. See, I'm still live right now. I still got my overlays on. Someone was trying to tell me I could, you know, click the start button and somehow apply boost again. Here's my boy Javi again. Once again, Javi, uh, I'm sorry, but you got 21 0 twice. That ass, huh? Anyways, GD's the Javi. Uh, 30 game win streak, but yeah, I was trying to apply boost because I knew I didn't have a lot of jump shot boost to go on a big streak And at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop playing until I lose You know, we had, we had at least a 30. I didn't know how much of the time But I knew we were at a big streak right as we're on a 31 game win streak The fire is just getting bigger and bigger and we played a 7-3 post score right here post them down This was the second post score of the uh, streak and hey 21 to 4 Something I was starting to learn with this as being my first time on the ones is that post scores defense are really bad. So I have to play a little different, not spam a lot of dribble moves, but, you know, just play conservative, you know, play slower than normal and just take what the post score is giving me because the post scores can't guard the drive and the shot. They can't guard both as he's playing me again. Another, you know, another shot at this. He has the ball 20 to four. We get a stop. My 6'9 can play defense. He's on cold and he gets graded out of the game. And we go ahead and drop him off. But anyways, yeah. Like I said with the Xbox dashboard thing, I was trying to apply boost, but it wasn't working in the stage. I guess you can't pop up that menu to apply boost in the stage. So I could never apply boost. So the boost I had before I had on the got on the spot is the boost I was gonna have. And eventually they're gonna run out in this video and you're gonna see a big difference in my shooting when that happens because you know y'all yeah, know how it is without shooting with shooting boost and i have my settings reset oh my god it's bad i'm already knowing some of y'all watching this video would hop on the spot immediately with your settings reset usually i would because it's almost impossible to play with settings that you're not used to especially shooting settings that is so important with shooting in this game and shooting's already hard enough as well anyways 37 game when you were flying through these games this post score is already back again for his third time he got takeover but it wasn't enough now we've beaten him already three times in what, like the last six games? What is going with that post score? You better stop pulling up, my boy. Now, if you're still watching this video, comment in the comment section, post score, uh, post score dominator. I don't know. 
Actually, no, that sounds terrible. Anyways, he's pulling up for a fourth time. Comment post score killer in the comment section if you're still watching the video at this point. Anyways, look at four times. Are we serious? Now this, I've, that's my only white of the whole streak, by the way. We had to put that in there. Only white of the whole streak. I, I, I would have won that game regardless. 40 game win streak. We're playing another GOAT tier right here. Now he got to 14 points, but we had to go ahead and beat him. If you guys don't know what GOAT tier means, it's basically the purple logo on your overall. On next gen, that means you win like a lot of your games. Like you're, you're, you're win most of your games. So GOAT tier is like the most skilled players you can play against. Um, and if you're not GOAT tier yet, it's either because you don't play enough. Like this guy's GOAT tier, that's good. Um, or you haven't played on that build enough. Maybe it's a new build. So some of these guys are better than you think, but they're just not on their main build or they haven't played enough, right? 43 game win streak. And we out here going crazy, man. Y'all make sure to subscribe to the channel for more win streak videos. We're playing another tall ISO build here. That's another 22. And at this point, I'm starting to get used to the meter. Obviously, we're 44 games in, but it's still not good. Like I'm whiting a lot more shots that I wouldn't be whiting. And it's also just, I don't know. I can't, I can't shoot off of my muscle memory that I usually shoot off of because my muscle memory is early shot timing. So I'm over here playing every game. Now I'm looking at like cues for my jump shot. And I usually don't do that. I usually shoot off muscle memory. So shooting on this win streak was all I had to adjust like crazy. We're playing another goat tier right here. Um, and we went crazy. Come on, man. We we beaten the post scores. We playing the we beating the boat the goat tiers. We beating the six nine demigods. We beating the bums, the, the, the tryhards. We beating everybody on this streak. Okay. Now we're almost at 50 games, and at this point. My stream ended. Uh, my stream had been ended. You see the overlay is gone now. And yeah, the stream ended. It crashed actually about four hours in. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to turn my Elgato on. I'm just going to keep playing and see how long the streak goes for. Because I'm already half, almost halfway there to 100. May as well keep playing. So I was recording on my Elgato at this point. I wasn't live anymore. I was just chilling. You know, it was late night. It's probably like 3, 4 in the morning. 50 game win streak. Now look at this guy right here. I get elite. You're going to want to remember him. I don't know if this is the first time he pulled up. I've played him multiple times before, though. And yeah, he gets 22. -0. I went eight for eight, six for six against him. That's one of the come arounds, just like that post score earlier that you're going to see. He's already on the got next, as you can see right there. But yeah, we 22 0 this guy. But, anyways, 52 game win streak, and we're playing this elite guy again. Now, this dude would not stop playing me. Okay. I already beat him once, went eight for eight, six for six. So clearly, I can destroy this dude. But this game right here was a crazy game so first play we get a dunk second play right here we get another standing dunk he's playing decent defense this game i got no energy i'm trying to get a cheeky bucket in the paint we don't get it good contest good defense now as you can see he misses wide open there he shoots a late but he gets a steal immediately because i'm not really paying attention i just be, i just beat this dude 23 0 8 for 8 6 for 6 you know what i'm saying i'm thinking it's an easy game it also his three point percentage was like a 25 but i'm telling you this dude don't miss against me okay i know he missed that first shot but he was not missing against me, bro. I don't know what that three-point percentage is. I think that's a bait or something. He don't miss against me. He's shooting 25% against everybody else. He don't miss against me, okay? Nine to four. He's graining every shot. He's finessing buckets. I finally get a stop here. And I'm like, okay, okay. I'm still not taking the game too serious. I could have had a wide open dunk right there. Didn't take it for whatever reason. I have one adrenaline boost. Step back, white. It goes in. Green. Okay. I didn't, I didn't think that was going in. I didn't think it was going in, but we got it with the meter. Now, he gets another fluky steal. The first steal wasn't really fluky, but that was like a, a pluck. Like, he just clicked X and got it. So, he gets the ball back again, then dunks it a couple more times. Now, it's 13 to 7. Now, he has takeover. Step back. Now, he just doesn't miss. Now, he's not missing. 25 three-point percentage, making 90% of the shots he shoots against me. 16 to 7. I'm like, yo. I gotta get a stop back. St a stop. And as he steps back, he misses finally. He had low energy right there. So I'm like, okay. We gotta we gotta calm down. Get some buckets. 16 to 9. This dude knows how I play how I play it now. He's played me before. He's already played a couple times on this street. So now he knows how I, how I play. He's clamping me a little bit, playing better defense. 16 to 11. I got one adrenaline boost. I'm trying to get open for three. I got no adrenaline boost. Not no gas left in the tank. We try to post him up. Get a, a little sneaky bucket here. He jumps, lay it up. I miss. I don't realize I have adrenaline boost left. I'm pump faking with no stamina. Shoot some dumb stuff. And we give up the ball. So it's 16-11. He got a take. And I'm like, yo, this might be the end of the streak. 
it might end here right here at 52 games. He's spamming dribbles, somehow gets another dunk. He was getting some cheeky dunks out here, but I ain't gonna lie to you. He stepped back from three, I'm there. Air ball. Air ball for game. He had 18. If he made that, he would have won. Air ball. And then look at me. I'm selling myself at this point. I went up with a 100% layup. I don't remember if I was trying to do that or not, but that was bad. He gets another dunk. He's at 20 points. If he scores one more bucket, it's over. Step back. We clamping that. We see the lane. We see the lane. He probably could have took that 52-game win streak on the line. We're reaching. He's spamming dribbles. I'm like, okay, he's not making it after all those dribbles. Shoots from Limitless would take over. Brick. Misses again. 20 to 11. I cannot give up the ball again. 52-game win streak is on the line. This is early on in this game, too. I miss early. I'm shooting with muscle memory on that shot because I got late timing on. Y'all know my settings reset at the beginning of this streak. 20 to 15. We cooking. We greening. Two more buckets. I'm trying to get the rim run. It's not there. We got two adrenaline boosts left. I'm trying to get an open bucket. He's clamping me right now. Step back. Open. I miss. And no, that wasn't open. 18%. We get the pluck, though. Can he go out of bounds? He picks it up, and it's still his ball. Oh, my gosh. Game point. 52 game win streak on the line with lock take. Can we clamp him for the third time at game point? 10 seconds. We're behind him. He stepped back. We're still here in front of him. Six, five, four. Three, I don't want to rim run. He's going to fade the mini and misses again. This has to be our last chance. 20 to 18 spin back. I'm not taking the three. I take the dunk. And whoever scores next wins. It's 20 to 20. He clamps my rim run. We're here though. We're trying to dribble at the perimeter. Oh my God. Step back. Take the rim run. Get him off the court. Yo. That was a crazy intense game for a dude I just went 8 for 8, 6 for 6 against. But that wasn't going to be his last attempt. Anyways, 53 game win streak. Look, he's already back on the got next, bro. Uh, something, uh, a couple weeks, uh, now that I'm recording this a couple weeks later, after this streak, yo, people on the ones, they do not lose to me one time. They will play me at least two to five times. I've, I had a post score yesterday, play me eight times. Eight in one sitting. And then called me trash after losing all eight. Yes. I don't know who was in the stream for that. But anyways, um, we going crazy. Look at we 23 to Odom. That, actually, that's our second win of the streak. Shout out to the whites. I, I've never made whites. I don't know how I made two in this streak. 55 game win streak. We 23 to Odom twice. We had a close game against him. Look, he's already back on the spot again. And this Afro dude is playing me a couple times too. But he hasn't even come close. 56 game win streak. We're playing this elite kid again, bro. Oh my god, look at what you know. It's a blow out of game. He had he had one fluky game against me that he almost beat me. All the other games, I'm blowing him out by 20 plus points every single time. Because that, you know what I'm saying? He got one fluky game. Okay, he finally gave up, I think. Anyways, we're gonna 23-0 this guy right here. And that is gonna give us a 58 game win streak. We're getting close to 60. We're over halfway there to the 100 game win streak. And I'm thinking, yo, I can get the first 100 game in 2K23. I gotta lock in. This is this is already the the highest one v one streak of two K twenty three. I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. Fifty nine game win streak. One more game till sixty. And as you can see, you want to remember this guy too. This is a come around as well. Now he was a he was a crazy rim runner, but I didn't give him the ball this game. Okay, he's gonna play me again here. Twenty three owed him. Okay, for the sixty game win streak, he didn't even touch the ball. Remember that, okay? He's a back of the god next spot right there, as you can see. I'm playing another dude right here. Another blowout. Most of these games are blowouts because I'm just in my bag. I'm just trying to, at this point, I'm just trying to end the games as fast as possible. Not doing anything fancy, just trying to end the game so I can get to this 100 game as soon as possible. 61 game, which we were playing this guy again. Now, he was a 6 7. He shot 43% from three. And yeah, this was a crazy game. So first we get the dunk. He hasn't even touched the ball against me once. Uh, and he's played me multiple times. This is his second time, I think, just this streak. But yeah, so it's two to zero. Go for the dunk. Four to zero. He's he's playing better defense this game, I can already tell. But look at this spin back sends me back to Zimbabwe. And we have to shoot a full court and it's an air ball. So we give him the ball. It's four to zero. 
Now, when I tell you this dude probably doesn't even have a right stick on his controller, he probably doesn't because he didn't use it the entire game. He would left stick, stop, run, go baseline, dunk it every play. And this was so irritating the guard because you can't, I can't just leave him wide open, bro. So it's four to four. He's got no energy. I'm like, okay, he's not scoring here. I got him clamped. I got him clamped. Look at, he's trying to rim run. This dude is a rim runner. You want the definition of a rim runner? It's this guy right here. He is not even, his eyes don't even ever look at the three point line. He is in his head. He is only trying to dunk the ball. He has no plans on even attempting a three point shot. Anyways, we got to stop. We're getting, and I'm calling him a rim runner, but look at me. I'm taking a bunch of dunks this game too, but the previous game, I hit like six threes against him. I, I'm, just, I'm not shooting as many threes this game because the threes are not open. It's as simple as that. If the three is open, I'm taking it. And look at it, right there. I miss a three after making one. It's 13 to four. We shoot a late with, with the meter on, okay? Look at it. Right back to dunking the ball. And chase down blocks in this game are non-existent. Please buff them, 2K. Look at it. Look at it. Stop. Go. Dunk. And I don't even know what that stop go thing is, but that's that's something that a lot of people in the ones spam now. Uh, now that I have more experience in the ones, and people abuse the hell out of it. But look at him. Stop. Go. Rim run. He doesn't even look at the three. And I keep falling for it. But I'm like, I know he's driving to the basket, though. Like, I'm prepared for it, and I still can't stop it. Finally, right there, I stopped it. 13 to 12. I'm trying to cook him up. And look it. This is just one of those games. His defense sucks. I finally get a chase down. But I just can't shoot. It's the meter. I'm having a bad shooting game. It's just one of those games. Y'all know how 2K23 is. But look. We got him clamped again. Somehow gets a dunk with no adrenaline boost. And at this point, I'm like, yo, this dude has eight layups and dunks, nine now, and I can't even get a stop. I can't buy a stop. Look at, does it again? He's at 20 points. One more point, and he ends my 60 game win streak. Look at, all the way, I jump, goes to the layup, misses. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking out right here. He jumps. We get the easy dunk. We need seven points to get this rim running dude who has not even attempted a three-pointer off the court I miss. He has the ball. He has the ball. If he scores, the streak is over. We know what he wants. We know what he wants. He wants a dunk more than he wants anything in life. We're here. And what do you know? He goes up with a 100% contested layup. Oh my gosh, another dunk for us. This is the biggest rim runner I think I've ever played in my entire 2K career. I mean, I think you guys could agree with this. He's not, he's not even attempted to look at a three. And we game it right there. Oh, I mean, it's our closest games are against people that we have 23 owed against people that we shouldn't even be paying attention against, but they're just getting these fluky games. I'm telling you, the ones can be fluky sometimes. 63 game win streak. We're playing him for the third time. And what do you know? Just like the first time, it's a 22-0. It's a 22-0 because I didn't have a bad shooting game. The only reason it was close that one game, I had a bad shooting game. We're playing a GOAT tier right here, a 6'9 GOAT tier. And yeah, we go ahead and drop him off. 22-0. Look at who's back on the got next spot. The same dude, 65 game win streak. And at this point, I'm like, okay, bro, I know this dude's a rim runner. I had to lock in against him. What do you know? Another blowout. Big threes, 23 to 5. You know, that one fluky game ain't going to happen again. 66 game win streak. We're playing a 6 7 demon right here. He actually did pretty good. He got a lock take, but it wasn't enough. 22 to 10, 67 game win streak. We are getting closer and closer to this 100 game. Now, at this point, my boost had run out. I don't know if it was this exact game. But it's, a, it's, it's, it's soon here. My boosts run out officially. So not only do I have meter on, I have the wrong shot timing. And I have no jump shot boost. Oh my god. It, it was just a recipe for disaster. Now, I won ruffles recently, but this was way before I won ruffles. So I don't have unlimited jump shot boost at this point. So yeah, we're on a 69 game win streak. This is for the 70 game. We got him cold. No energy. Take the dunk. And that is a 70 game win streak. This is by far the highest win streak on 2K23 when it comes to the 1v1 court. And right here, we go ahead and go crazy. And we get another, you know, blowout game. We, we hold them to zero points. Now, I have no jump shot boost left. 
I got nothing left in the tank. It's looking bad. I'm shooting bad the last couple of games. It's looking really bad. So we play this guy. First play of the game, he's not here. Two to zero. He comes back four to zero. And I'm not thinking anything of it. I don't think, I didn't think this guy was good. I wasn't thinking about it. And he wasn't even that good, but he was good enough to like take advantage of the no jump shot boost. And we had, when I tell you we had the worst shooting game I've probably had in 2K history, we had the worst shooting game. I'm just going to spoil it for y'all. We lose this game. We lose this game right here at the 71 game win streak. This was for 72. Look at, I'm wide open. This kid's defense was terrible. I was just, and his offense was bad too. It's just, I missed so much in this game that you're going to see all wide open shots too, to the point where I literally lose against myself. I didn't even lose against anybody on this win streak. I didn't. I lost to myself. Look at me. Missing wide open. I could not hit a shot for my life in this game. And the meter, the reset settings, and the jump shot boost finally come back to haunt me at the very end of this streak because we lost because I could not hit a wide open shot. Look at I'm getting unlimited stops against this dude. I'm getting even open dunks when I can't shoot. And I'm wide open. I mean, he has no defense. And look at me. I cannot time the shot when I full bar it. It's not going in. I, it's just a bad shot. We, we get another stop. Wide open again. Not even close to timing it right. It was just the worst shooting game I have ever seen. Y'all drop a like of this video if I should attempt another 1v1 streak this year, okay? Because this was a horrible way to lose it. Usually, I lose it to, like, error codes. This was bad. I mean, we shot. Look at, look at the top right. I'm shooting 0% from three. I got, like, six stops on this guy. And I have six points. 0 for 4 on wide open threes, and we end up losing that game. He took like a like five or six dunks at the end there. I lo I lost the streak to myself. What can I say? But let's go ahead and recap this 71 game win streak. Look at the progress I made to Legend. Because you guys don't know, Legend, you have to hit um a certain amount of 100,000 points. This was our record at the time, 275 and 14. Uh, which was not too bad. This was our record right after this streak. Pretty crazy record, like 97 win percent. We did run out of jump shot boost as well. Now, like I said, that recording was on September 22nd. It's now October 6th as I'm overvoicing this video. Probably upload this pretty soon. But yeah, this is going to be my record now, uh, a couple weeks later after that win streak. As you can see, I have a 94 win percent. After playing the ones a lot more, because that once again, that was my first time playing ones when we went on that streak. I averaged 18 points per game, just about 821 and 57 in the park. Uh, don't mind my rec record, by the way. You know what I'm saying? I was playing with randoms just to get that 100 rec wins. It was, it was looking bad out there. This is our progress to legend. Make sure to drop a like on this video if I should try to hit legend fast. Subscribe to the channel and turn on noties for all the updates on legend because we're going to be streaming this legend grind. And we're going to be hitting legend for sure. But yeah, we're getting closer and closer. We got one out of four stars, eight more season quests to go, 16 more events, and 81,000 more points to score. But hey, man, we're going to be grinding it. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this win streak video. And yes, I don't have to deal with the jump shot boost running out mid streak because now we have unlimited boost from Ruffles. Make sure to go watch my last video on how I won Ruffles. But yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, we have some more win streak videos later this year in NBA 2K23. But anyways, y'all, it's been your boy Henry, aka Double H, and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.